Hello everyone, welcome to the basic tutorial of using pipelines and solving a regression problem. In this particular example, we're going to use the house price data. We'll have different features like building cost, zoning classification, lot size, road access, lot configuration and various other features. And we have to predict the sale price of that particular house. So let's get started. We're going to run the code on the Kaggle kernel platform. If you want this code, the link to this particular code is provided in the description section below. All you need to do is click on it, log into Kaggle and you will get started with it. First, we'll begin by importing libraries. We're going to import NumPy and Pandas. Also, we're going to do model selection as usual. Then two important things that we're going to import here. One is the make pipeline from pipeline and one is the compose from make column transformer. Now what make column transformer does is it takes various kinds of transformations to different set of variables and then combines it. Although we're going to do a simple version of it, but I'm going to still use this just to showcase how this is going to be used. Next, we're going to also import a imputing strategy. We're going to impute it using the KNN imputer. Then we're going to do select K best features just to shorten the length of features that we could use. And then we will use K bins discretizer to basically bin the numerical variables on top of it we'll do a linear regression and check the mean square error of the regression model outcomes so let's import the data i have two different files that i need to import the train and the test so i've imported them the train data is imported within train data frame and the test data is imported within subtest this is the data frame that we will be using to predict and participate within the competition. So let's run this. So if I run it, the data is imported and I can look at the train data. As you've seen, all the variables are present. Sales price is something that we need to be predicting. So let's move ahead. We'll move ahead and now split the data into train and test. I'll take Y as sales price and rest of the variables except sales price and ID will be the X variables. I can split the data into X train and Y train, X test and Y test. And the test size we're going to take is 0 0.2. We're going to take a random state of 200 to ensure that our split always remains constant and we'll be able to reproduce our outcomes. So if I did this, my train data is now split into train and test. Now let's get all the numerical variables to get started with, right? So we're going to just pick out all the numerical variables and leave out any object variables that are possible. In the next video, what we'll do is we'll try to get the object variables as well and then see how we can improve the model from this particular current state. So I've taken the numerical variables here by using a generator, which means if there are any data type that is integer and float, within the X variables, they'll get selected. So if I run this code, I'll basically get all the numerical features that are required to build the model. Now let's go ahead and build the pipeline. So to build the pipeline, what we'll do is we'll take the make column transformer. And for this particular example, we could also just start with the make pipeline, but I wanted to have this step here so that we could include another pipeline in the next video. Remember, make column transformer is used when you have two or more variations of transformations on features you want to do. In this particular example, we just have numerical type of features that we want to transform and we'll be doing the pipeline in this particular method, right? So we'll begin with make pipeline. We'll take the KNN imputer strategy like we have spoken about earlier. And then we're going to take all of the variables that have been imputed and then we'll create bins out of it. The maximum bin is going to be six. If there are anything less than six, it will just give us a warning. Next, we'll also select the top 15 variables for this particular model, rather than taking all of the variables that are getting produced. And we'll do all this transformation on the numerical features that we have identified earlier. Now moving on to creating the pipeline along with linear regressions. For this particular example, we're just going to take a linear regression base model. So whatever preprocessor pipeline we have created, we're going to append that to a linear regression pipeline, and then we'll make another pipeline. So remember, we are using the same make pipeline and just attaching the linear regression to that pipeline. We have all that is needed to build the model. We have the transformation steps, the preprocessor steps and the model attached in one pipeline called as REG model. 
Now let's build the model. So to build the model, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say reg model dot fit and say run. Now it will run. If there are any bins which are lesser than the one that we have defined, it will just show us a warning. But this is fine to go ahead and do the execution. So as you can see, you'll see the linear regression model is built. Now let's check the accuracy using RMSE. We're going to use the REG model to predict on X train and get the Y train predicted. And similarly, we're going to get the Y test predicted. We're going to do the RMSE on top of these two. And let's look at what we got the score for these two. So the train RMSE is around 40,000. Test RMSE is around 50,000. So there is still scope to improve these particular scores. And we'll try to improve the scores using the categorical variables within this particular data set in the next video. Also, we'll try to use random forest and see if we can still further improve the RMSE. So to make the submission, what we're going to do is we're going to predict on the submission test data set that we have. We're going to drop the ID and take the rest of the variables and predict on top of it. So we'll predict. Now what we'll do is we'll create the ID and take the predictions that we just have within one data set and then finally submit this particular model to Kaggle. So if I run this particular code, I'll basically get a ID and sales price. So in this way, we are able to use a simple pipeline to predict house prices in the house prices data set. Now I've submitted this code by saving this particular code and going to the output and hitting submit to prediction. And once I submitted that particular output to the competition, I was able to get a score 0 0.23. The closer it is to zero, the more better our model is. So on the leaderboard, we have a score of 0 0.23, which is a decent start, but there is still scope of improving the accuracy. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.